When we try to control weeds, it's very important to understand the life cycle of the weed we're trying to control. In this video, we're going to take a look at the life cycles of weeds and point out when they're vulnerable, when they are not. There's actually three different life stages we're going to take a look at. The one we break into two separate parts. So we're going to start with the annual life cycle. This is the one we break into summer annuals and then also winter annuals. But the annual life cycle, as annual implies, a plant's only going to live one year. So let's start with the summer annual, and you can see across the top we have the months of the year going from January through December. And in the spring, the summer annual will germinate from seed. And you can see the nice supply of weed seeds, annual seeds there in the soil. So it will germinate. It's going to keep growing. And then it's going to mature. It's going to shoot up uh, seeds, a seed stock, uh, to produce seeds. And the seeds are the primary principle for the annual to survive and to reproduce to guarantee future generations. So it's going to set seed. Those seeds will follow the ground and they mature and then they'll be there in the soil actually for years and years to come. Uh, they don't uh, all germinate at the same time. So after the seed and we get the, the first hard frost in the fall, the summer annual is going to die. Again, an annual only lives one year. Its main function is to grow, produce seed, and it's done. Now we go to the winter annual, please note at the top our months of the year have, are different. We go from July to June. So we're picking up really the start of the winter annual in the fall of the year. Again, we have seeds in the soil that are just waiting to germinate. But the main thing here is the winter annual is going to germinate sometime in the fall. Now even though my arrow points September, October, this can actually happen as early as August through that fall period. The key thing is they're going to germinate in the fall and they're going to grow and again their main function is to grow and eventually produce seed. Now at the end of the year, the growing season, the cold weather will not kill the winter annual. It may die back but it's not going to kill it and it's going to survive. Come early spring, oftentimes very early before anything else starts growing, the winter annual will start growing and again its main function is to grow, produce seed, and then it's going to die. So it's actually the warmer weather that's going to kill the winter annual. It has matured, it's done its thing, it's produced its seed, and now its life cycle is over. The next one I want to talk about is a biannual life cycle. Bi meaning two. So this particular life cycle, the plant lives for two years. The first year, it's really a vegetative life cycle. You're going to see, you're going to get germination from the seeds. Again, it's going to grow and it's going to produce what they call a rosette, a low growing foliage, if you will. Uh, it's not going to produce it much height at the, in the first year. Now one of the things you'll see is it's developing a very sound root system. In this particular case this is wild carrot and it's producing this uh, underground tuber that's growing in size and it's going to provide a storehouse of energy so come the second year it's going to have energy to start growing. And that's what we see here in the second year. Second year is really the reproductive year versus the year one that was mainly vegetative. So it's going to grow, but now it's gearing up to start producing seed. So you're going to get much higher growth. It's going to shoot up and it's going to flower and seed at the end of year two. After it's uh, produced seed, basically the two year life cycle is over and it's going to die. Regardless of the weather conditions, it's only going to live two years. But you can see it's produced lots of seeds. You have a seed bank with lots of soil that will germinate uh, depending on the climatic conditions. The last life cycle I want to look at is the perennial. 
perennial meaning more than two years. And in fact, some perennials can live for a long time, and you know, 8, 10, 15, 20 years is not uncommon. Perennial mean it's going to live year after year. So the first year, uh, we get seed germination, although they can also uh, sprout from plant parts if you've gone in and, and uh, let's say, cut some of the plant parts trying to maybe cultivate your garden or uh, farm field. Those plant parts can take root and, and sprout. But anyhow, the first year you're going to get development, they're going to grow. The key thing to keep in mind with the perennial is they typically have a very extensive root system. You can see here in year one, we have the root system, but as we go into year two, it's going to really take off. There you see the root system. And the other thing you'll see is it'll send up new plants from that root system. So as it spreads, you'll see more above ground plants appearing. So then we move to year two, and now we're going to start seeing uh, production of seed. It's not only year two, but following years. We have a mature plant. We have a very extensive root system. You're seeing that how it's spreading by producing more plants coming up through the soil from the root system. So now you have a real mess. You have a plant that's very difficult to control because it has a massive root system. We can sometimes kill the top growth, but if you don't kill the roots, it's going to come back on you. So again, you see a very difficult to control weed. So there you have it, the four life cycles of weeds. The summer annual, the winter annual, the biannual, and the perennial. I should mention that, that on the biannual, it takes two years. Only broadleaf weeds exhibit the biannual uh, life cycle. The other ones, annuals uh, and the perennials, we can see that with uh, not only broadleaf, but also in the grasses uh, as well. Okay, I hope that helps you understand the different life cycles of weeds. Now, please contact us at Pesticide Education if you have any additional questions. Thank you.